I'm Matan Feldman, founder at Wall Street Prep, and I'll be your lead instructor. Together, we'll go step by step through the exact same training we deliver at top investment banks and financial institutions. In fact, eight out of the leading 10 investment banks use this program to train their analysts and associates. And I'm very excited about what we have in store for you in this latest version of the premium package. This comprehensive program is the result of incredible contributions from nearly 40 faculty members, all former practitioners who bring vast experience across investment banking, private equity, equity research, FP&A, and corporate finance. So what are you actually going to learn? The premium package is six courses in one, which together represent the core modeling skill set for most finance professionals. We'll start with financial statement modeling. Using Apple as our case study, we're going to build a forecast for Apple's income statement, balance sheet, and cash flows. We'll build scenarios and perform sensitivity analysis to compare a range of possible outcomes for Apple. And we're going to do it all starting with a blank Excel sheet. Next, we'll turn to valuation modeling. We'll build a discounted cash flow model, trading and deal comps, to answer the question, what is Apple actually worth? Are its shares overvalued or undervalued? And how do smaller private companies get valued? I will not only show you how it's done, but I'll explain why it's done differently depending on your role and where practice and academic theory meet and where they diverge. Next, we'll turn to leverage buyout modeling. Using the BMC and Dell deals as examples, we'll build a full-blown LBO model from scratch and learn exactly how private equity professionals evaluate projects. We'll complete the program with M&A modeling. If Apple were to acquire Disney, what analysis does Apple perform? What about Disney? We'll not only build a complete accretion dilution model, but you'll learn how to make pro forma balance sheet adjustments, evaluate stock versus asset sales, and handle a variety of advanced M&A issues, including deferred taxes, net operating losses, and purchase price allocation. So with that, let's dive right in.